getting off the ship today in Castries St. Lucia. And it's about 80 degrees again. A little breezy, a little breezy here, a little breezy. Hi. We're gonna take a walk through town and maybe walk to a beach just so you could see how easy it would be. Janet's thinking maybe she should have worn the dress. Debating whether to get back on the ship. There's another ship in port and actually another ship on the other side of it. They're Marabellas or something like that. Not that it's important. There's some little shops here in the terminal, if you can call that a terminal. People waiting for their tours out here right now. So we're going to go through there, head off to town over there. It says welcome. We're going to go inside here, see what's up. Watch tour. A Del Sol color changing store. Duty free liquor. Janet's mentioning free gifts. You get your Korean premium lager here. I guess at that bar over there, you can. Go to Columbia and Emeralds. A lot of clouds, but I'm telling you, it's 80 degrees here. Maybe more, a little bit humid. The beers look small. Maybe not. Maybe not. So a lot of shops right next to the ship. So we left the terminal building. And... There's a lot of people here trying to get you to take their cab. Or I guess this train. I don't know anything about the train, though. But this must be the exit over here. Those are papayas. In case you've never seen them growing. There's our ship. And here we are. I guess we just go out here. No? Thanks. Let's go to this sidewalk. Any water for a dollar? No thanks. There's the other ship. That's in front of ours. There's our ship. There's that bird making noise. We're gonna head off here, past the pyramid building. So we're leaving the uh, port area. There's the other ship. Same company as this one. Hi. I got a nice view for you, my friend. No thanks. We we've been here before. What? Excuse me. <laughs> Giving Janet the hard sell. We walked down this long road, not that long, from the port. We come up where this big house is, and this guy. Got some traffic, I see some other tourists out here. Not a very interesting part of town, I have to say. But that's what you have to go through on your walking tour, right? I think. These are gas station attendants? You know, like the old days? Maybe not. Maybe they're just hanging out there. It 
seems we're approaching a very busy street. So we came from where that van's coming from. We got up to this busy street and we're taking a left. <laughs> the beach is just off that way. I think we're almost halfway there already. We've been walking down the busy street. You can see the ships out there for a while. When I said before we were almost halfway, we weren't. This empty area up ahead there where the trees are and the cars driving that way, that's the airport. So at the airport, where you want to go that way, and then of course the beach is right on the other side of the airport, but we have to go around the runway. I think we're going to cross the street here at this crosswalk and see how that goes. Ought to be exciting. We came up that road. That's where we crossed the street. This is the runway for the airport. And you can see the beaches on the other side of it. But we have to go around to the end and then cut across. But here's where you can get blue waters. Somebody needs to trim this hedge back. Out of the jungle sprung this place. With a metal fence. I think it's starting to rain. Now I'm pretty sure. It started to rain pretty heavy, so we stopped in a bus stop there, which was shelter, and everyone else in the bus stop started smoking at the same time. So it was pretty awful, but it was dry. We're going to the end of this road, cutting across the end of the runway there, because the beach is right there. Maybe you could see it's a cemetery over there. I don't know. We'll see that in a minute. been walking for a while down this long road, maybe half a mile. We're coming to an intersection here. It's the first real intersection with a roundabout here and a crosswalk. We're going to try to cross. They drive on the left side of the road here, so it's a little weird, maybe unnerving. And apparently they don't really want to stop. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Hi. Hi. But we made it. This is the end of the airport runway. And the beach is just through those trees. This is not downtown, though. Downtown area would be over there. We'll get there later, maybe. yellow flowers here. We're coming up to some sort of resort perhaps. We have multiple colored bougainvillea. Bougainvillea. These look like some cruise ship people because that lady has a little Switzerland bag on her and he's got a cricket bat. Um, he might be crazy though. Give him a wide berth. This is the Rendezvous Boutique Hotel for Couples. Howdy. A little muddy here. Of course, it has been raining. So the runway for the airport's right there through those weeds. We just walked along by that hotel there. And we are now out at the beach. And the water is very calm over here. There's a cemetery there on the beach. Go figure. So 
This is the Rendezvous Beach. Can we go there? Can we walk there? Okay. But try not to go inside. No, we won't. Thank you very much. You heard him. As far as we want. And he didn't even point that way. He pointed that way. They got a green flag, which means very calm. I would call that very calm. I want to walk down where it's harder. Oh, that feels better. This is a pretty nice, fine sand. Not really white, though. More like the California sand color. They're pretty all the same. This is their little pond they've made with the jetties and there's a ring of floats out there. So I guess this is the swimming area. And I believe if we get over that way, there's more beach. And I guess this is still the rendezvous, a couple's resort. I have to admit I've never heard of it. But I haven't heard of everything. We came down to the beach over by the sailboats there. Goes, I don't know, half a mile over that way. And then we cross this bit of sand and there's another crescent of beach. It's forbidden to walk, jump, dive, or play on the breakwater. So don't do it. in the joint, I think. So I don't know if this is a different resort or more of the same. And they just have extra beaches. Extra beachy. This is fairly tropical paradise looking here. Only two people in the water. Several people on chairs. Water looks fairly clear, clean. Anyway. That's how you get to the beach in St. Lucia. Well, we were walking on the beach and it started to really rain. Compare this with the picture I just did and you'll see what I mean. One of the guards here at this hotel invited us to sit under the umbrella. So that's what we did. We were under that palm tree right there. It was not much protection. <laughs> we walked through those trees, there's another big long beach over there. Then it started pouring rain. And one of the guards invited us to sit under an umbrella, so we did that for about 15, 20 minutes. And now we're gonna just head back the way we came, but maybe go into town instead of back to the ship. We'll see. So uh, this is Elle's Beauty Salon. And when we walked past here earlier, there were no soccer teams playing, but now they're out there playing. That's the airport. This is where we turn. Right down there, well, you can see one of the ships and the smokestack of another. Ours is on the other side of that hill there. So that's the way we came from. That's the truck Jana keeps talking about, the color. That's the way we came from. The ship is right around the bend there. If you come out of there and you make left, go down to the airport, around the airport, you're at the beach. I'm going to say it's about a mile. Check it on the map. If you make a right, you can go around the harbor there and you're in the main part of town. Whether it's worth going, I don't know. We may go there later. 
We may not. Right now we're heading back to the ship to clean up a little or sit around, rest. Hours of fun though. So, Castries, St. Lucia. If you go up and make a right, you'll be on that road there with the cars going over that bridge. And then you'll be there in the downtown area, which is very picturesque from here. When you're in it, I don't know. The ships are right here, not our ship. The NCL Pearl is right there through those trees. But we're almost back. So I don't know that we're gonna go over there. I'm calling that downtown Castries. It's about a half a mile walk from here, maybe a mile. Anyway, I'm Gareth from Port Monkeys saying Port Monkeys out. See you in the next port.